Well, the Egyptian Football Association have confirmed that Hassan Shahato is no longer their national team coach. Comes a day after his team drew nil-nil with South Africa in an Africa Cup of Nations qualifier. The result means the three-time defending champions have all but been eliminated from the competition for the first time since 1978. Shahato was in charge of the team for the last seven years, leading them to those three African Cup of Nations titles. Well, joining me now is Osama Halil, former captain of the Egyptian national team. And of course, uh, Sunday's result was disappointing for Egyptian fans. But after seven successful years, should Hassan Shahata really be taking the blame? Well, he takes some of the blame, but I don't think he uh, carry all the responsibility for this result. I believe the blame should be going uh, towards the Egyptian Federation itself. They are the one uh, have the big uh, uh, issue here in terms of managerial work and uh, management in, in, in a way where they can have a, a promising team uh, working with uh, Captain Shahata. But on the other hand, what happened yesterday, in my opinion, was expecting the Egyptian national team uh, uh, out of the competition now because he has only two points out of four games, which it considered disaster, uh, because the group where Egypt was playing with wasn't that strong. Uh, bear in mind that Egypt was a, a, a champ for this competition for the last three uh, uh, times. So we have a team here working with a high ambition, but it wasn't enough. The, their ambition, uh, considering the players, uh, was only the African Cup. But we have another higher ambition here. Uh, this team cannot make it to the World Cup. So the expectation from these players was limited. And we emphasize on this issue several years. We need a team where we can have a new target with a higher impression, uh, with a high, with a higher uh, uh, ambitions. But and on the other hand, I'm sorry to interrupt was you. a big failure. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Osama Halil, but uh, obviously they were three-time defending champions. Um, some of the fans in Cairo earlier were saying that the political situation in, in the country is affecting the team. How true do you think that is? Uh, in a way or another, some effect, uh, let's put it this way, uh, Captain Shahata uh, and his uh, players uh, considered with the Egyptian as uh, a part of the old regime. So the, uh, after the revolution, a lot of people, uh, a lot of Egyptians was considering the team and Shahata part of the old regime, so they don't want them anymore. And this is, was a big issue, uh, psychologically uh, was uh, uh, a problem for Shahata and the players. But on the other hand, we are in a soccer game where we have a team winning, so everybody behind them. But when we have a losing team, then everybody was uh, crying and blaming either the uh, players or the coach uh, and also blaming the Egyptian Federation. So the issue here, either the, uh, this team was part of the old regime or people they do not want them, or the team itself technically wasn't that good like four or five or six years ago. I go with the other part where the team from a technical point of view was absolutely needed a lot of changes well, there's, because there's you clearly have an older player. Osama Halil, I'm sorry, we're going to have to leave it there, but clearly a lot of change needed uh, Osama Halil there, former captain of the Egyptian national team.